Well, um, the theme of the show today, as it so often is, is what is politically correct, and let's attack that, and people being too sensitive. Now, the talk of Washington, D.C. today, I mean people in Washington, D.C., not your type who are obsessed with Bill Clinton. Oh, oh, I mean type. people <laughs> are talking about a, uh, a guy who works for the mayor, just lost his job. His name is David Howard. He was making a speech. He used the word niggardly. And they fired his ass because they said it's, and of course it is not a racial slur, it's, a, it's from Scandinavian. Was oh, he Jewish? Was he Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, yeah. I know, now I know why they, in drama school, they, they teach you to pronounce your consonants. Well, <laughs> <laughs> why yeah, but he pronounced it right. It just, listen to this, a guy yeah, said, yeah, it, it sounds like niggerly, America, niggerly. Right? He grew up. Grew up in America. Uh, okay. uh, here's, here's a comment from someone. He said, uh, he said he basically, I think he should have been fired. He should be punished because it's so close to a degrading word. Uh, <laughs> that's nonsense. Remember, remember not too long ago, Bill, there was the incident in New York City where, uh, over nappy hair. Um, that was a, a teacher was teaching a, a young girl um, yeah. about uh, who was African American out. and she had nappy hair and she had a self esteem problem. So she brought in this book. Parents had never even read the book and. They gave her so much grief over this book. They fired her. They, and, and no, she, she ended up resigning and said, the hell with this. Who needs this? Political correctness. Ill-educated people making but, these judgments like niggardly. But that's who, a little, yeah, but I mean, who, the N-word, man. I mean, it's like any, any idiot in the world. No, you don't go on. And you, don't, you just don't say it. Not but if you're this public. isn't that word. Yeah, it, it is that word. It is it's not, not that word. word. That's the whole point. It's Who, niggardly. You go out and ask a million people what the, what that's, how that's going to be perceived. So we should dumb down to the idiots who don't know the words. We should cater to them. You want to go on to say niggardly every day and see what happens? Go ahead. Well, I you think know? probably what, what would happen, to, well, it won't happen to me because right. I'm, you're not I'm getting it. it out right up front. But who this wait? guy, <laughs> I guess I'll cancel my trip to Nigeria then. I'll get arrested. <laughs> Nigeria. Right. There's a country in Africa, Niger. Should we, yeah. should we not use that word? Should we not use any word that begins with N just because somebody might be pissed off? Well, what is this change the pronunciation? All I'm saying is that the guy's an idiot for saying it. No, he's not. Well, he's he's not, not an idiot used, for saying he it. He used an, a very intellectual word, a word that shows that he has a vocabulary, actually, which is a rare thing in America today. Right. And he gets stingy. persecuted for it. Stingy. It means well, well, stingy. He's great now. Everybody loves him, huh? No, yeah, he's resigned. He has, he has no job. Yeah, he lost his job because yeah. he's a stupid idiot. Well, he's not a stupid idiot. People who don't know the word are stupid idiots, okay? Look, I mean, any way you want to call it, if you're in a responsible uh, position like that and you go out and use a word like that... Dave, what do you think you the mean? word means? Niggardly? Yes. Stingy. Yeah, well, Very we just good. heard that. Okay, well, we stingy does not mean a racial slur. It is not a slur upon anybody's parenting. Not technically, but it, uh, this is a word that has aggravated a lot of people for a really, really long okay, time. We, and we know in this world that people in the media operate and base advertising and base knee-jerk reactions off of words like nigger. That doesn't mean it's right. No, that doesn't mean, mean it's right at all. Look, but. we have a guest on the show, Dean Kuntz. Should I never book him? Oh. <laughs> Should we not have him anymore because... Yeah. Well, I mean... Right. Whatever. It's, what is the, what's the dossier on this guy? Is he a Klansman? No. No. No, I mean, now, oh, 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 so now I mean, what's the now, end of the... Now we're going to go into this like we have uh, to do... Let me just watch, oh, whisper, on. get something in, because <laughs> your shirt's starting to attack me now. <laughs> Does it... I mean, what's the story? Is the guy suing? Is the ACLU coming? He lost his job but because there was such yeah, an ACLU outlet. Who was, was the guy? What about freedom of speech, man? I mean, don't you... I mean, who fired If the we, guy's not... A, uh, he resigned. I think he resigned because... there. I don't know. He wasn't fired. He resigned. We don't have freedom of speech in this country. What we have is very expensive speech, Richard. Whenever you say something... That's yes, politically right. incorrect, okay. you're going to pay a price. I mean, that's okay, whatever you the say. Sad, yeah, but I mean, this is not Al Campanis who made a statement about African Americans that was wrong. Right. This is a guy who just used a word that has nothing to do with African Americans. It's derived from Scandinavian, and mm -hmm. because people don't know the word, they're firing them. So we have to be, we have to rearrange the country run with the stupidest people think. That's what you're. <laughs> that's exactly that's your point. right. That, well, is the, that is the point, that we are dumbing down our standards, and we see it in our schools, and we see it in our higher education, or systems of learning, and I think it's terrible. And I think that this guy ought to get his job back, and he should get um, pay and compensation for the aggravation. The whole thing has me spooked. Okay, we're going to take a <laughs> we'll be right back.